Hi, this is Troy. I'm going to walk you through the variety of offerings that TechSmith provides to give you a feel for how they all sort of work together and what you can do with them. The first one is called Snagit. Snagit is uh, sitting on the side of my desktop, Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. In fact, it also works on mobile devices as well. Um, but for our purposes here, we're going to uh, show how you can capture an image or capture a video. For example purposes, I'm going to go over here to Google Chrome, open up my email, and uh, I will uh, just do a couple of image captures. So here we go. I just can browse or select a portion of my screen if I want. And it comes in the Snagit editor where I can modify it if I'd like to. I can also use hotkeys. So for my purposes, I've set Alt-I. Uh, for being able to capture an image and I can uh, show how to capture just a portion of my screen and I can copy and paste those together so I could take that plus a previous image uh, maybe something like this one over here and I could paste that one in and drop it in you know something like right over over there if I wanted to make it look like that in addition to that, I could take multiple graphics, I can put torn edge effects, I can uh, do things like create a sequence where I could say, all right, well, if I'm going to set my out of office reply, uh, there's number one, that's the first thing I'm going to click on, and then setting automatic replies, that comes second. Then when I go down, I uh, got to set that and then click that, and then I set my date and time. And then uh, finally, you know, somewhere down here, I'm going to set the, the final step. And then I could add additional text if I want to, but you get the idea. From here, sharing is relatively straightforward. I can send it directly to a Word document, a PowerPoint file, etc. If uh, I use Google Drive, I can send it to Google Drive, and we've got lots of other outputs as well. So that's one thing that it does, and it does it exceptionally well in terms of documenting anything that's on your screen, any business process. Sometimes those processes can be a little bit longer, and a video may be faster than typing up or taking images. So uh, we can simply choose a portion of our screen again. We'll choose this. And I'm recording my microphone. I can choose which microphone that I want to use. I can choose to record system audio or I just click record. Hi everybody, it's uh, coming into vacation time. So if you're not sure how to set your out of office reply just from within your Outlook, you're gonna go in and uh, choose this gear, then set automatic replies. It's gonna open up a new page here. And from here, you simply send the automatic replies during a certain time period. Make sure you set these appropriately to the beginning and end of your um, reply or the end of your vacation. Set this, set this, and hit save. Obviously, I'm making it a little bit faster than I normally would, but you can get the idea that it's a quite rich and quite rapid of a, a communication vehicle. And like I said, from here, it's a matter of you know deciding whether or not I want to send this to YouTube or I can put it on my Google Drive. If I just want to send it to a network drive, I do a save as, and uh, I can save it as a standard MP4 format. And for those who aren't familiar, MP3 is the audio as MP4 is the video. It's just simple, easily shareable file format. Okay. Um, that's it from Snagit perspective. Let's move on to Camtasia Studio. Camtasia starts where Snagit leaves off. So Snagit does super quick image capture annotations. It does video recordings and publishing. But there's not a lot of video editing inside of Snagit. In fact, there's practically none right now. Camtasia Studio is a rich screen recorder as well as a video editor. So I've got lots of options from a recording. If I wanted to, I could record my web camera. I've got multiple audio devices that I could choose to record from. I can record my whole screen, a portion of my screen. I hit record and away I go. There's lots and lots of functionality inside of Camtasia Studio. When I'm done with my recording, it opens up inside of uh, the video editor. It's got some clip bins. It's got a window for previewing the video. It's got a timeline here at the bottom. 
and lots of things that I could do. So, for example, in this recording right here, I recorded a portion of my email. Yeah, probably not the most sensitive thing to do. So why don't we go ahead and uh, let's blur out uh, some things here. So I might uh, want to remove this reference, maybe just this one right here. And I can choose just how long I want that to be on the screen, at what point I want it to be on, whether or not I'd like that to fade in over time or fade out over time. I can change the intensity of this, etc. So there's lots of ways of um, modifying that blur effect. There's lots of things that I can do. That's just one of the many things. I could make a hotspot on the video so that this video becomes interactive. Uh, if I knew that people needed to click on this and then that and this and then that, uh, I add hotspots to uh, create that type of simulation. There's zooming, there's cursor effects. Let me just show you the cursor effects because I think it's actually uh, quite brilliant. Let's say that um, uh, here, maybe in this video, it's important that they be able to see what I'm doing with my cursor. So I'm going to add an animation which is simply going to grow my cursor significantly uh, to make sure that everybody can see it. And while I'm at it, I think I'll actually highlight uh, that a little bit and I can adjust uh, some of my uh, properties associated with that as well. So just a, a handful of things to show, transitions, voice narrations, uh, recording camera, there's just lots and lots of things that you can do with Camtasia Studio. When you want to produce it, uh, you can send it to YouTube, Google Drive, Screencast.com, which is our hosting, but for internal sharing purposes, uh, there's a lot of uh, simple options here, like I'm just going to produce an MP4 to, um, to a specific dimension, 720p is kind of a standard size now. If I want to, I can set up an FTP location so that it always goes uh, to a specific location for me as well. So, um, it also will share it to uh, TechSmith Relay, which will do the encoding and the distribution of it for you, which we will get into right now. Now, as fantastic as Camtasia Studio is, and it's super powerful, we also recognize that a lot of people just need to record what they know and share it with other people in a controlled environment. That's where TechSmith Relay comes into play. After uh, watching lots and lots of customers trying to use our software, we said, you know, we've got to be able to simplify this. And that's what we've done with the Relay Recorder. Super big <laughs> red record button. All I have to do is hit record. And now anything that I do on my screen is automatically going to be recorded. So whether I'm going through a, a PowerPoint presentation and uh, let's just go uh, from the beginning. So here we are talking about Nebula and Matter, et cetera. And if I alt tab and I work my way over to, you know, a web page to do a search and then I'm back to a PowerPoint or I'm working through a business process, sharing best practices, preparing people for a meeting by sending out a video ahead of time. So they know what we're talking about and they get time to think about the idea before they actually have to make a decision. All of that stuff is what TechSmith Relay is really good at. When I'm done with my recording, I open up the recorder, I hit stop. It actually pulled up the slide titles from PowerPoint, which is very nice of it. If I really wanted to, I mean, all I have to do is hit submit at this point. Let me just show you that I might want to trim out a little bit of the presentation. Maybe I wanted to, uh, let's say, just start there and um, and I could you know, say I was going to end it somewhere about about there. And right there, I've just cut out portions of the video that I don't want. I can give it a title. I can give it a description. I can hit submit. It's really, really simple. It's going to a server here. The server and the reason we call this relay, just like in a relay race, it's going to hand it off to somebody else to finish it. Right now, all I have to do is hit copy and I paste this link into an email and somebody else is going to be able to watch this video. Now it takes a minute for the video to process and when it does, this is what it looks like. Is it playing? And so here we are talking about nebula and matter, etc. And if I alt tab and I work my way over.
So you get the idea of how this actually looks and works. The brilliant part about this is that this video now can be shared automatically to groups. So if I have a group that I'm sharing insights from customer visits or a special group that I want to send it to or people with just specific titles or maybe my executive team, this is automatically going to send that video off to those folks. Now, all the videos that I have also can uh, be sent to those groups as well. So there's various and sundry different groups, uh, different videos that I may have uh, sent out before. These happen to be uh, videos that I made with a mobile recorder. It's called Fuse and it records from my mobile device. It enables me to send it directly to TechSmith Relay. So these are sort of my reports from the field. I know, for example, that 13 people watched it, but even better than that is the more detailed analytics. So now I can see, all right, let's see. Uh, nobody in the group hasn't watched it. There's some people who've only watched a little bit, and there's a whole bunch of people who've completed the whole thing, which is great. In addition to that, I can actually put a quiz on this. This is real simple for me, but if you have to certify somebody on something, it's fantastic. Here's what I did. I simply put at the end of my video, I said, hey, are there any comments, any questions that you want to ask? And I can see 10 people responded to it. Here's the questions and here, here's what they had to say about it. Right? This is the same type of information that I'd get if I asked a, a more um, quiz-like question. So I could actually go into that video and I'll show you how you add the quiz. It's ridiculously simple. I uh, go to a point in the video, wherever it is, I say I'm going to add a new question and I'm going to add a multiple choice, a true false, a fill in the blank, or a free response, either one of those. Uh, once I hit save, that video and that quiz with now two questions on it are automatically going to pause at those positions and then allow uh, the viewers to respond. So that's one of the beauties of TechSmith Relay is the simplicity of the recording, uh, the ability to share it to a group, to get analytics, and uh, to have that be in a nice controlled environment uh, that only people within your organization can view. I guess the last thing I would mention is that Snagit sends to TechSmith Relay. Camtasia sends to TechSmith Relay. TechSmith Recorder sends to TechSmith Relay. So all of these are enabling you to uh, have your own sort of hosting environment where you can create a variety of different videos. People can even search by the videos, find the videos, and then have those videos automatically delivered to the group so that best practices within your organization are automatically shared and wisdom is available to all. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your questions.